If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a full-time content creator and I also own a boho decor shop called Urban Darling Shop where I sell some of my thrifted boho finds. So today's video is a thrift haul of everything that I found on my last thrift trip. If you guys missed that video, I will link it for you guys so you guys can watch it. As always, some of these pieces I actually keep for myself because I am decorating my national apartment from scratch. And then some of them I actually sell in my shop if I know that it's something that you guys would really, really like. I hope that you guys like the way that I've been filming these videos. I actually used to use my like professional camera to film the videos, but it didn't have like a flip screen. So it was kind of hard to film a video on it. Sometimes my head would be cut off or like it was just kind of tricky. So this is a little bit more casual and I hope that you guys like it. I'm actually just filming on my iPhone XR if you guys didn't know. So the quality is like pretty good, but it does have a bit more of like a casual feel to it. So I hope that you guys like that. Okay, so let's get into the thrift haul. The first thing that I picked up are these wicker plate chargers. So there's a set of four of them. So you can actually use these to put plates on like medium sized plates when you're having like a dinner party or something like that or if you just would like to have like your table looking all dressed up with the wicker chargers all around it. I actually like to use these for um, basket walls. So I actually have some on my basket wall behind me. I think that one right there is one and then they have them just kind of like spread out. So they are perfect for basket walls but what they're supposed to be used for are for plate chargers. But these are super cute and I love the boho feel that they give a home. So these are gonna be going up in my shop very soon. The next thing that I picked up for my shop is this little wood plaque. So this part is actually a ceramic piece that's set into the wood piece, but um, basically you use it as a little wall hanging. It has this hook area where you can like use a nail and hang it on the wall. So this would be super cute for like a boho gallery wall or even just like a simple, like on its own on like a smaller wall, something like that. But I thought that was really pretty and I loved this like color scheme to it. The floral design is really pretty. So that would be very cute for a boho home and this will be going up in my shop as well. Next is this small round basket that's actually dyed fuchsia. So it's a wicker basket. Naturally, it would look more like these plate chargers, but it was dyed fuchsia. And I don't, oh, you can kind of like see it, my head's blocking it, but I have a few fuchsia wicker baskets on my basket wall. So I actually picked this up for myself thinking that it would be a good addition somewhere on my basket wall. I just like that it gives like a little pop of color and I really love like pinky, corally colors like this. This is like a little bit more on the fuchsia side, but I have little fuchsia accents in places. So this is like the perfect pop of color for my basket wall. The next thing that I picked up is this woven rectangular basket. I don't know what this material is. It almost looks like it would be leather, but it's not. And I just don't know what the material is. I need to try to figure it out, but I love the look of it. It's just super cool looking. It's glossed, as you can like see. You need to clean it up a little bit. It's just a little bit dusty, but basket like, baskets like these are perfect for like storing bath accessories. I have a few of them underneath my um, base, in my base cabinet under my sink where I put like bath products and stuff like that. You could also leave it like on the counter and have some of your favorite bath products like displayed, or you could put it like on a dresser any kind of like tabletop really and just store some of your favorite things in it. You could put like remotes in this if you wanted to have it in your TV room and there's so many things that you can use these for. And it's a great size for storing and displaying items. So this, I really actually kind of want to keep this just because like I said, I really love this like woven look but um, I'll just have to see where it fits in my apartment and if it doesn't, then I will list it in my shop. The next thing that I picked up is this boho jar. 
Jars like these are perfect for storing flour, sugar, ground coffee, cookies. It's a little small for cookies unless they're like really tiny cookies, but there are so many things you can store these for. So obviously it's like the perfect addition for a kitchen, but I picked this up because I really loved this like teal color and it looks super unique has like this really cool design to it. So it's a glazed ceramic piece. I did pick it up in mine for my shop because even though I love it and it's so cute, it doesn't quite go with my apartment, but I thought it would be super cute for somebody's home. I really thought somebody would enjoy this. So I picked it up and this will be going up in my shop soon. But yeah, it's just this really pretty, very bohemian looking piece that would look so good in somebody's home. The next thing that I picked up is this bowl here. It actually has a floral Asian design on it. And I just thought that was so pretty. So I had to pick it up. I love Asian pieces. I always have for some reason, like I'm just very drawn to them. It has this like red rim on it. I just thought that was so pretty. So you could use this for tons of things. You could use it to display like jewelry in on like a dresser or something. You could use it in your kitchen, just have it like on display, store things in it. So many things that you could do with this. Like obviously you're supposed to use it for like soup or cereal or something like that. But I'm just talking about like if you wanted to use it decor wise, it would also look really pretty on like some open shelves something like that, but I just thought this was too pretty to pass up, but I did pick this up from my shop, so this will be going up soon in Urban Darling Shop. The next thing that I picked up is this colorful basket here. So this is made out of wicker, I guess. I'm still trying to figure out what the difference between wicker and rattan is, but um, apparently like they're basically the same thing. Wicker just like refers to the woven look so I'll just call it wicker. Um, it's a colorful little wicker basket and I love the colors in this. It has like the pop of fuchsia and then some more like neutral colors in it. This is kind of like a light, like a deep purple brown color. So I thought that was really, really pretty. It actually came with this like little bowl inside of it, like a plastic bowl inside of it so that you could put a plant inside of it which is kind of what I thought that it would be good for, would be to just like dress up a plant. So you put your little pot in here and have like your plant um, on display. You could also use this like for shelf decor. You could store things in it. Tons of things that you could do with this, but it is like the perfect size to put a little plant in. And even though I love this and it's super cute, I will probably put it up in my shop, but I'll display it like somewhere in my apartment until then. I also picked up these candlesticks that I thought were super cool. They're just like these wooden candlesticks and then they have like a brass lining at the top, probably just to like catch wax or whatever from like candlesticks but these would look so cute on like an open shelf with candles in them. I really like this color of wood. I would probably prefer them if they were like a little bit more mid-century. You could actually like pick up a stain to stain these to make them a little bit more mid-century if you wanted to. I recently tried staining some things myself and a couple of the pieces that I tried staining did not work because they needed to have been like gloss or something just to like take the stain easier. These actually are gloss, so they would be pretty easy to stain a different color if you wanted to. But I just thought that those were really cute and perfect for like an open shelf or something. So these will be going up in my shop soon. The last thing that I picked up is this super unique basket. I love this color scheme with like the dark browns the like lighter natural wicker colors and then the black i just think that is like such a cool color combo so this would be perfect for um i'm actually currently using it like on my couch to put like remotes and stuff in what else could you use this for it has handles so it would be really cute to um use it as like a little serving tray for like you know breakfast in the morning you could like display it at the end of your bed um, you could use it to display bath products, like I said. You could just like have it in your kitchen or as a centerpiece on like an end table, coffee table, that kind of thing. So 
lots of cool things that you could do with this. Super cute and very bohemian. I really do like it. So I kind of want to keep it just because I think it would look really good in my apartment. But if I decide not to, I might possibly list it in my shop. I just have to figure that out. What's great about what I do is that I can actually use some of the thrifted home decor finds in my own apartment and style them for you guys. I do a lot of styling videos on my TikTok. I just get like a lot of people asking like how you would style that or what you would do with that. So I like to make little styling videos on there. So it's great for me because it gives me an opportunity to create like new content for you guys. I also get to have like my little apartment kind of like changed up a little bit. So that keeps it fun. And then I get to show you guys what they would look like in a home. So that is everything that I found on my last thrift trip. But I quickly wanted to mention to you guys that even though my boho decor pieces are listed at a certain price, I don't want you guys to feel like you can't afford the pieces in my shop. I definitely know what it feels like to want something and not be able to afford it. So I wanted you guys to know that I'm flexible. Go ahead and make me an offer. I will not be offended and I will try my best to meet you with something that's a little bit more affordable because I never want you guys to feel like the pieces in my shop are just too expensive. And I really wanna be able to work with people because I know that times are tough right now, including for myself. So just so you guys know that. I want to be able to make my pieces affordable to everyone. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe for more thrift with me's, thrift hauls, and styling thrifted decor pieces. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I post a lot of thrifting content on my TikTok and we just hit 26k the other day so that is super exciting. All of my socials including my TikTok and Instagram are at the Urban Darling and then the Instagram account for my shop is actually at Urban Darling Shop so definitely follow along on there. If you guys follow at Urban Darling Shop on Instagram, comment that you followed from this video and I will give you guys a discount on something from my shop. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.